Hey everyone, welcome along to the channel today and today I am out testing the Thingfi, I believe it is pronounced, I have absolutely no idea. This is the Thingfi P1111X uh, and it basically fits to my Fuji Film X mount, the Fuji X-T1 is what I have. It is a multi-aperture pinhole lens, so it goes from 0.1 of a mil, or, and you can adjust it, adjust it, adjust it up to 0.8 of a mil. Um, I've struggled with this, I'm not going to lie. Um, it's been sent to me by a lovely chap on Twitter, Dave in Elland. Elland, I think. The official Dave on Twitter, basically. Uh, really nice guy. Uh, when I'd mentioned about um, stepping back into digital photography, he said he basically had one of these kept in the back of the drawer somewhere and decided to dig it out and send it to me. I've struggled with it, I'm not going to lie. I've had it for about a month. I've tried a few photos here and there and I just it just doesn't sit right. <laughs> it doesn't sit right. I don't know why. It's uh, It's been a struggle and um, I think there's certain things that it works well on. Having a look on their website in the gallery, there's a couple of pictures on there which look really good. I think stuff may be in towns and stuff, a little bit of motion and stuff where you're actually moving the camera. But it's, uh, yeah, so it's uh, an interesting one. Um, so I'm going to try it today. But I kind of got uh, thinking a little bit about who would buy it. Now, if... I mean, this is like 80 quid, I think, about $100 or something. It's a lot of money, but it's so well made. It's a fantastic... And after trying it a little bit, I kind of... All I can really think is this company, Thingfi, need to make like a little 6x6 six six medium format uh, pinhole body for film, where you can kind of adjust your lenses and stuff and different apertures they do quite a few of these as well so they do a wider one which would be quite interesting but I just kind of keep thinking that's if they went down that route made a quality six by six body of kind of like a dark slide so you could pop your lens off put a new lens on a little shutter system be fantastic but yes anyway um who would buy it I don't know uh, I think if you are looking at exploring pinhole photography and you've got a digital camera, this is what you might go for. I would say from the short time I have used it, just put a pinhole in a body cap. You can buy a nice laser drilled pinhole if you want to go all out for a couple of quid and then just stick that on your body cap, drill a hole for it. Or just buy a pinhole camera. You can pick... I've got my Mia 6x6 with me today, which is cheaper than this, and with a roll of film, it's still cheaper than this, and developing it will still work out cheaper than this, um, all combined. Um, so I might compare a few photos today, I'll do one with this and one with the pinhole as well, but yeah, I'm a little bit sceptical about it, but I'm going to have a little plod, plod, wander, walk try and get a few different pictures and uh, hopefully get a few with the film one as well and the film one's going to be better it's just going to be sharper it's going to be nicer it's going to have a nicer look to it i don't know why it just does but this is what we're doing today the thingy fi This is it on my Fuji. Just done one quick photo. There's a five second exposure, ISO 800. Um, a little bit of vignetting in the corners, catching on that pinhole there. Up around here. Uh, if you're wondering what this is, my batteries for this are uh, completely shot, so I've got uh, this. Thing, runs off a power back 
quite nifty, but a little bit annoying. But, right. By adjusting the uh, pinhole size from 0.1 to 0.8, it obviously lets in a lot more light, but the image goes so much softer, so much softer. Um, isn't really ideal for this, but so I'll keep this at the uh, 0.1. That still looks really soft at that. So I'm just having a quick look at the specs of this thing. It's uh, equivalent to a 26 mil lens. If that was on my mirrorless Fuji, which gives me a field of view of around 80 degrees. Um, you can get a wider one, which would probably be more similar to the pinhole camera I'm using. That'd be the equivalent to an 11 mil lens and a field of view of about 120. So much, much wider. Um, which is probably more similar to the, like I said, the pinhole camera I'm using, but can't imagine the look is going to be too much different. Like I said, this, I don't know, I'm, I'm struggling with it a little bit. Um, I'm going to try a few more photos anyway and um, make a, um, a decision when I'm back at the car as to how I feel about it. But. We're both 13 second exposure, so it'll be interesting to see uh, what we get from both of them. The light is vanishing fast with this massive rain cloud heading this way. So I'm going to try just a couple more of the thingify and uh, see what I can get. And uh, 
finishes up. Okay, the thingy fine. What do I think of it? I've um, not enjoyed using it at all, really. I think if you're comparing it to a film pinhole camera, there's a whole different process between uh, film and pinhole. There's a whole uh, different uh, connection, I suppose. Um, it's nice, I suppose, to have an LCD screen where you can see what you're composing and see uh, straight away how bad the image is. Uh, there's that. But um, I think there's certainly a market for it. Definitely, uh, when these guys are on Kickstarter, they get backed massively. You know, there's definitely a market for it. Um, that market's not me. Um, uh, some people, it, I don't know, <laughs> I just can't figure it out. Uh, but basically, if you are looking at getting a Thingify because you have, you are a digital photographer, you have seen pinhole images online and you think, yes, I like them, I'd like to give that a go. Buy yourself a cheap pinhole camera. Uh, a mere 6x6, 6x6, 3D printed. Um, and Holga, even cheaper. You can even then look at things like yep, things like uh, Le Rouge, Ondu, Zero Image, Reality So Subtle. As the list goes on and on, and they all do affordable pinhole cameras. Cheap roll of film, develop it yourself. You will be far more satisfied with the results. If the thingy look it's just too soft i know pinhole photography is not about being sharp but i think you still want a bit of sharpness you still want it to be recognizable it's i think especially if you're coming from a lens thing where sharpness is an obsession to then come to something which is too soft it's just too much so a film pinhole camera is sharp enough. It's a nice, you know, I just can't get made around it, to be honest with you. Um, but if it suits you, if the images you've seen, um, don't look at my images because I'm, you know, for this thingy fight. Um, go on their website, there's a few. I'm sure there's some Flickr groups. Um, yeah. I don't really know what to say about it, to be honest with you. Um, it is a well-made product. Make a 6x6 six six body where you can put on different focal lengths and have your different apertures. Perfect. I'll be, that will be an amazing pinhole camera. Amazing. If the quality is as good as the lens thing, they could make an absolute outstanding pinhole camera with the different options of lenses dark slide slip your lenses off nice little shutter system perfect but this suits some people it doesn't suit me by the time this video is out i would have sent this back off to dave because i'm not keeping it i might have a little play around with it if i do i'll put some images at the end and um, but firstly just a massive thank you for dave for sending me this really really appreciate it i honestly do also, I want to say a massive thank you to a guy called Tony Wainwright. He is on Twitter. He's a large format photographer. He sent me the film. He sent me a box, um, a box, a, a batch of uh, medium format film, which he wasn't using anymore. Really, really appreciate this. Um, so what I've had in my Mir 6x6 is Ilford Delta. Uh, and that was very kindly sent to him. I'll leave some links to his stuff below, along with Dave as well. And a huge thank you to him. Uh, and he does some wonderful blog work. Um, so I'll leave a link to all that as well. Uh, but certainly thank you. Thank you to him, guys, for making this possible. 
Um, thank you, Dave, I think. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that'll be that, I think. If I um, find anything decent about this thingify, I'll uh, let you know. But if not, see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching.